Welcome back, Odooers. Odoo surveys can be used for a number of different purposes, but did you know you can also use this one-of-a-kind application to take your live in-person presentations to the next level? Well, you totally can with Odoo Live Session Surveys. Odoo Live Session Surveys can transform any boring presentation into an interactive conversation where the audience controls what happens next based on their real-time responses to questions. Live session functions the same way as a normal survey, but this time there's a host or moderator who not only presents the participants with the questions and responses in real time, but also uses that freshly provided information to guide their presentation into the areas that they know the audience will be interested in. Sounds pretty freaking cool, right? Well, enough of this dang chit chat. Let's hop into the database and dive deep into the wonderful world of live session surveys. Shall we? For the usual, we're going to start things off on our surveys dashboard. From here, let's jump into a survey that I've been preparing for an upcoming presentation that I'll be delivering to an audience filled with loyal Stealthywood customers. So let's click the annual satisfaction presentation and see what this is all about. All right, so you'll notice that this is currently set to custom, which is fine, but I wanna save some time when turning this into a live session. So let's click the live sessions radio button here instead. And when I do, Odoo streamlines the process for me by tailoring all the options to be ideal for a live session, which we'll take a look at in just a second. Before we do though, let's take a quick gander at our questions. You'll notice that I have a kickoff question asking my audience what they like most about Stealthy Wood. So let's click into this real quick. You can see that the option answers are chairs, desks, and drawers. Now with this particular presentation, I want the audience to tell me in real time where the conversation should go next. In other words, if they tell me they're mostly interested in our chairs, I don't wanna waste their time with a 30 minute spiel about our desks. I wanna keep them engaged or entertained and certainly wouldn't make them feel listened to either. That's why I'm fully prepared for any outcome. So I'll go ahead and exit out of this pop-up window and you'll notice that I have three conditional questions here to use as follow-ups. You can tell they're conditional questions because they have this little quirky branch to the right of the question type column. Oh, and if you haven't already, be sure to check out our tutorial on conditional display questions. It's a good one. Anyways, you'll notice that I have a few follow-ups prepared for any of those answer options. This way, the question that appears next is dependent on the most popular answer, aka the one that gets the most responses, which will allow us to dive even deeper into the audience's interests and just learn more about who we're talking to. Doing so not only provides a more detailed feedback, but it puts the audience in the driver's seat of the presentation, allowing them to dictate where the conversation goes next based solely on their real-time responses to the questions. All right, so now you know what questions I've prepared. Let's jump into the options tab real quick and look at a couple things. First thing you'll notice is that the pagination window is currently locked at one page per question, as that's the ideal formatting for live session surveys which will handle each question and answer one at a time. Beneath the time and scoring section, you'll see that you do have the ability to gamify your live sessions with scoring options, which can be a fun way to get the audience engaged as they try to outwit and outscore their counterparts. However, for this particular presentation, I'm more concerned with opinions and not correct answers, so I'm gonna change this to no scoring here instead. In the participants section, you'll notice that the access mode is currently set to anyone with a link. That's because it's expected that people use a mobile device or laptop to participate in live session surveys as they happen in real time. They wouldn't be able to interact with the questions otherwise. We could also require a login, but I think for this example, anyone with the link will suffice. So let's go ahead and keep this unticked for now. Lastly, we have a live session section. First, you'll notice a session code field. This code would be used by attendees to access the live session survey once it's officially been created, which we'll touch on in just a moment. This session code can be customized to any series of numbers, letters, and or symbols that you want. You'll notice in the session link field below that there's a URL, and this will also include the same very session code at the end. Now, technically a session code isn't required. However, it is heavily recommended. That's because if you delete the session code, and click away, you'll notice that the URL will change and become a bit more complex. Not only that, but if you were to send this URL out to participants leading up to the live session, they would have the ability to instantly access it and fill it out like a normal survey before the host created or started the live session. Obviously, that would remove the magic and fun of a live session altogether. So be sure to keep that in mind. 
In fact, let's go ahead and add this session code back, make it something memorable like 1212 and click away. Perfect. Now, one thing to notice is the session link code here. As I mentioned, the URL features the session code at the very end. So if we were to send this URL out in its complete form, session code and all, participants wouldn't need to enter the code as it would already be entered for them. They'd simply be taken to an online waiting room until the host has started the live session. But if you copy the whole URL except the ending session code, so copying everything except for the S slash, participants would then need to be given that code to enter the live session. But again, they'd only be able to access the survey when the live session has been officially started by the host. So that's a little fun way to keep your live sessions looking and feeling super exclusive. All right, finally, you'll see that there's a reward box here at the bottom, which gives you the ability to reward participants with extra points if they answer quickly. But seeing as I'm not looking for right or wrong answers, and I don't want my audience to have to compete with one another, I'm going to leave that box unticked too. Okay, I'm happy with how my live session looks, so how about we see this thing in action? Let's recreate a normal live session scenario to see how everything works. First, I'm going to go ahead and copy the entire session link, but I'm going to go ahead and delete the code 1212 when I paste it in in my incognito window, which will serve as our participants POV. Here's what the waiting room looks like. It's asking for a session code, which would need to be entered, followed by a quick click of the join session button. Remember, the live session survey can only be accessed once it's been created, aka started, by the host, so let's go ahead and do that now. We'll jump back to the window open to our survey in Odoo and click the Create Live Session button here at the top. Doing so will officially begin the live session, and it opens another tab to the live session manager on a new tab for the host to manage. This tab, the session manager, is what would typically be shown on a projection or other screen during an in-person presentation. That way, all participants in the audience will be able to see the questions and answer results pop up in real time, which I'll just show you in a second. First, on this page, you'll see that there's a session link present on the session manager, which can be quickly copied and sent out to any last minute participants. Or they can simply see what is on the screen and access the URL themselves. Below that, you'll see an attendee counter which will be populated as participants arrive and ready themselves for the live session. Speaking of, remember how our session code is at the end of the URL? Here it is, 1212 in that case. So let's hop into our incognito window as a participant and enter the code, and then we'll hit join because the live session has officially begun. That brings us to this title page of the live session where the participants are informed that the session will automatically start once the host kicks things off. So let's jump back to the session manager where we'll see our attendee is ready and waiting. Awesome. Then once all your expected attendees are accounted for, as the host, you can click start and get things going. On the session manager window, which will be displayed to the audience of participants, the questions will pop up and the answers will populate in real time as they're received. So let's jump over to our incognito window and enter our answer. Now that we're back in our incognito window, let's select drawers and then submit. You'll notice the next question hasn't appeared yet as this is because it's up to the host to launch the next question. Now, let's quickly jump back to our session manager page where we can see the response that has been visualized in real time, letting the audience know the most popular answer. As the host, once all the responses have been entered, I can now click the show correct answers button here on the right, which will go ahead and reveal the correct slash most popular responses. Perfect. Now, of course, there is no right or wrong answer here, but this does show me the most popular response and tells me as the host where the conversation should go next. At this point, I can briefly touch on our chairs and desks if I wanted to, but I now know that the audience is most interested in our drawers. So I'll be sure to focus on that more, not only with my presentation banner, but also with my conditional display questions that I've configured as a strategic follow-up. So when the host and the audience are ready, the host simply needs to click next and the process continues with another presented question that the audience submits the response to. And of course, the conversation is still driven by the audience, so that continues on. And like I said, pretty freaking cool, right? 
That's it, Odooers. That's how you create and conduct a live session survey with Odoo Survey application. Be sure to check out all our survey related tutorials to learn everything there is to know about Odoo's amazing surveys application. Until then, see you soon, Odooers.